Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator. Now, the sports club has been filled with five new members. We are going to meet them right now in today's episode. So if you guys are cool with that and you're down with that, everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. Okay, guys, so these are the five new male students that are in the game. Let's see what their names are right now. It's probably going to be something related to sports. Hojiro Shamashiro, a diligent student, has known Itachi since childhood and views him as a rival, even though Itachi usually ignores him. Constantly Constantly strives to better himself so that one day he will finally be able to surpass his longtime rival. Okay, what about you? This guy does not look like a high schooler. He looks like a 30 year old man. Itachi Zametora, a gruff and unfriendly student. Extremely competitive, never turns down a challenge. One of the most physically fit male students at school. Never misses an opportunity to demonstrate his impressive physical strength. Did he happen to turn down the opportunity to brush his hair? What's going on with that thing? This guy's name is Mantaro Shamimasu, a friendly student. He's not as strong or fast as his fellow club members, so he usually gets left behind. However, despite all of that, he never gets discouraged and he never gives up, no matter what. Views Budo Masuda as a role model. What? We checked out all the students except this green-haired slime ball right here. Unagi Denkashiza, a former delinquent, rumored to have a history of violent behavior. Although he hasn't caused any trouble at Academy High, most people are afraid to speak up with him because of the rumors, so he has difficulty making new friends. Okay, that's pretty damn sad. I'm faster than the fastest people in the sports club. Can you believe that? Look at this. I'm leaving these dudes in the dust. Okay, so I'm not even a part of this club, and I'm faster than all of them. This is actually pretty sad. Let me talk to the leader of the club. Let me see if I can join. Uh, I actually can't join the club, but you're the club leader, though. So what do I do? Hey! What do you want? There you go! Okay, let me join the club. Actually, let me see some info. We run in the morning, we swim in the afternoon. If you want in, it's not gonna be easy. Nobody's gonna slow down on account of you. If you can't match our pace, you get left behind. But if you can keep up with us... You'll see improvement in no time. You're gonna run faster and hit harder. You'll be the best you you can be. I can literally run faster with a body in my hand than they are gonna run without one. Let me join this club. You really think you got what it takes to roll with us? If you join the sports club, you'll run faster and will be able to carry sports equipment anywhere without being considered suspicious. Will you join the sports club? Hell yeah. If it was up to me, I'd say no. But our leader said to let anyone in, so you're in. I thought you were the leader. Okay, and now I got some cool goggles on my head. Watch this, guys. I'm way faster than this guy. Look at me. I'm leaving him in the trail of my ascent. Look how slow he is. He's all the way back there. I can't even see you anymore. Okay, guys, on top of the male students being in the school, there is now a male locker room we can go to, and this is not it. This is the female locker room. I'm assuming the male locker room is... Oh, it's on the other side right here. Okay. So yeah, there's a male locker room and I can't go in. Something imaginary is pushing me. What? Hold up. We are going to go inside. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Let's go down here. We can't go inside the male locker room, guys. Maybe if I turn into Yandere Kun, then I can go. Because look at me. I'm a dude. I'm all man. Nope. And I still can't go in. They see right through me. I'm getting pushed by some male locker room imaginary bodyguard. You know what, guys? I think I know how I'm gonna get inside the male locker room. Let me pour some of this gasoline inside here, and maybe I can trip my way in. You know what I'm saying, guys? Okay, do it. Oh, yes, I did it. I got inside the male locker room. Okay, what can I do in here? I'm in the club, so I should be able to wear all the stuff, right? Let me see if I can wear different uniforms. Let me try a school uniform. Okay, I can't move, guys. Oh no, no, I got inside the locker room and now I broke the game. Okay, so we're gonna try to get back inside this male locker room as Yandere-chan. So I'm gonna oh. do this and we are back in boys and girls. That's what I'm talking about. How come I can't go in here? Like I wanna change into whatever they morph into once they go in this thing. So I'm assuming that you're never supposed to be able to go inside the male locker room, obviously because something's pushing you from the outside. So if I open those lockers, nothing's gonna be in here. But what if I end some life who's in here? What's gonna happen? Okay, so let's try this again. So you have to, what? Wait, what? Hold up. I didn't even have to like do the bucket thing. It just let me go in there. Like the ghost was pulling me inside. Look at this. Oh wait, they're all going in there. Okay, so it's gonna push me, but it's gonna bring me in. Look at that. It automatically brought me in. Okay, so what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna end some life who's in here. 
the guy with the weird looking devil hair, he's supposedly the strongest dude. So we're gonna take care of him first. And then the blue haired guy, or who's the guy who's weak? This guy, the guy with the gray hair. Okay, so they're gonna go inside and then they're gonna morph into their suits. There we go, okay, okay, okay. So this guy's life was gonna be ended first. Get over here! Mm. You're first, wait, what? What just happened? Let me inside. Okay, get me in here. Thank you. Okay, you're next, buddy. Oh, oh God. Okay, I'm assuming that I got him. <laughs> oh, I got somebody. Ah! This guy's so freaking strong. But you know who's stronger? I am, bitch. Okay, we got him. And oh, goodness. Get me out of here. Where'd they go? I saw a student with horrible injuries. I think they're dead. Dead. Oh, crap. Me to them. Who was that? Who told on me? Who snitched? Oh, you snitched. Wait, the teacher might not be able to go inside the locker room. Hold up, let me see. Let me get in here. And let's see if the teacher can get in here. Ah! She can't get inside. No, oh, not. this guy pinned me no! to the ground. Hold on, I gotta see if the teachers can get inside the locker room because of that invisible barrier. Come on, be quick, be quick. Oh, oh, the teacher came back. No, let's see if she can get me. Oh, dang, oh man. Guys, I got, oh, she got in here. Okay, so the teacher can get inside the locker room and she pinned me down over that dude's body Okay, I'm not gonna lie. These animations are pretty freaking cool Let me see if I can talk to this guy right before he jumps in the pool because I saw like a thing above his head That we can interact with them. So let's see if we can get it right before he jumps Okay on three one Two talk to him. Oh, you can't talk to him right before he jumps in. What about here? Nope Okay, you can't do it while they're performing animations. I get it, I get it. Let me see if I can talk to him about doing a club activity. Can I talk to you for a moment? No? How do I talk to him about the club? What do you want? There we go, now we can do the club activity. We started without you. You snooze, you lose. Next time, be here before 5.30. No, I was trying to talk to him before 5.30 and the option to do the club activity did not pop up. That is bull! Okay, this time I'm gonna make sure that I talk to this guy exactly at 5 p.m. because I was trying it all throughout 5 to 5.30 and this guy was just talking to me just like any other normal student and not as a club leader. So it wouldn't even let me do the club activity, but it's about to be five right now. So let's see what he says. I gotta meet him at the end of the pool because this fool loves swimming. He did like 18 laps already. And look, I can't even do a club activity. It's 501 and he won't even let me do anything. What do you want? There we go. I have to talk to him right before he's about to go on that little diving board thing. You ready? Club activities last until 6 p.m. If you choose to participate in club activities, now the day will end. If you don't join by 5.30, you won't be able to participate in club activities today. If you don't participate in club activities at least once a week, you will be removed from the club. Is that so? Let's do this. Yeah, let's do it. The sports club pushes their bodies to the absolute limits until they're too exhausted to continue. And apparently, I just stand there while I watch them swim. Wait a minute. How come it's almost 5 p.m. and there's nobody here? That doesn't make any sense. What the hell? Oh, they're all stopped by the bucket. Why didn't you guys tell me? Okay, here we go. No more bucket in the way, fellas. Yo, whatever you guys do in the male locker room stays in the male locker room, but you guys need to get over by the pool because I got to do the club activity. There you go. Now they're moving. Okay, they moved to a different locker, and now they're doing everything again. What is going on with you guys? Fellas, fellas, can we break it up here? Can we please get to swimming? Actually, I know what to do. Let's get the club leader. Let's ask him to follow Aspires. And let's make our way to the pool. Get your ass out here. He keeps doing a 180 and going back inside the locker room. What is wrong with this guy? All right, fine. Stop following me. Where are you going? Is he going to go back to that whole thing? He went back inside the crowd of people. I'm so done with the sports club. Wait, I did not know that these guys go swimming during lunchtime. You would think that they'd go eat lunch, but they're so dedicated to their craft that they are gonna swim during lunchtime. I respect that. I respect that so much that what I'm gonna do, guys, I am gonna go into tornado mode and we are gonna see if we can get them while they're swimming in the pool. So the club leader's right here. Let me do this. Can I get him? I can't get him. Oh, I got him. Oh, that is so dope, and the water came out from under him. That is so freaking cool. Let me get this guy before he gets back. Come on now. Get him. Yes! Oh, that is so freaking cool. I gotta get this guy. Come on. Get him. Yes, got him. Okay, one more guy to go. We're gonna let him dive first because I want to get him as he's swimming inside the water. And I just noticed that water is still coming off their bodies. 
That is so damn dope. No, get in the water. No, it's not a dead body. He's swimming. That's a new swimming technique. No. Okay, you're not going to tell anybody. Get him. Oh, oh no. I got to get him. I got to get him before he tells the teacher. Stop right here and bye-bye. Yeah. So we saw the sports club and everything they're all about. But the last thing that I want to check out, guys, are all the new posters that are around the school. Because, you know, when you're in school, you see a bunch of those corny-ass posters that are supposed to be motivational or they have information that you might not know. So we are going to see what kind of posters Academy High has to offer. So this first one right here says, stay hydrated. And it's kind of funny that it's right in front of the nurse's office because that booty right here definitely makes your boy thirsty. You know what I'm saying? This one says, a healthy you begins with a healthy the core really on dairy dev really changing the world one student at a time academy high sponsored by psycho corp okay diving into the lore a little bit let's see what's behind this guy protect our planet recycle that's definitely a generic one that you see in a real school report dangerous activity let's keep our school safe take a stand work together to stop bullying talk to a guidance counselor or friend this one is just a bunch of jibber jabber make the most of your youth limit phone usage while at school yeah, unless you're watching Cub Scout videos, you know what I'm saying? Academic study guide to be more productive in the new semester and a bunch of blotty, 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 blah. Always wash your hands. That should be a rule for everybody in the world. No matter what you do, if you walk inside of the bathroom and you take a number one, a number two, or a number three, you better wash your damn hands or I am never talking to you in the history of anything. No running, please walk. And for some reason, this girl has a piece of bread in her mouth. But you know what? I'm gonna run, and there's nothing anybody can do about it! This one has nothing too. This one says, let your mind unlock the possibilities. Oh my god. And I think that's about it. Wait, there's one more. Preserve our beautiful planet. Don't contribute to pollution. And I think that's the last one, guys. Wait, is there one more? Nope, that's the last one. Okay, so those are all the posters around the school, I believe. Unless there's something up here? No? Okay, nothing up here. What's this? Exposed moving parts can cause severe injury. Whatever happened to the fan elimination method? I mean, I know it was pretty gruesome and I couldn't show it on YouTube. I don't know if it's still going to be a thing, but that would be pretty badass if we could still do it in the future. All right, guys, but that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator. If you guys have any comments, questions, challenges, or myths for my Yandere Simulator myth series, make sure you guys leave them down low in the comments below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!